Hey guys, it's Comic Guno. Today I'm doing Batgirl issue 2, and let's talk about the issue and the cover and everything. Uh, so let's talk about the cover first. And um, I actually really like the cover. I've been excited for this issue because I think Batgirl is one of my favorite, even though it hasn't been getting so much praise. It's been a moderate series. It's not a bad series, it's not a great series. But in my opinion, I really, really like Barbara Gordon and I really like Batgirl. I always liked. Her being Batgirl, even though I like Stephanie Brown being Batgirl. But I, I think this is a pretty good uh, series, in my opinion, even though some people might think differently. And um, some people might really like the series. So it's definitely been mixed reviews. But I've been really liking Batgirl, and I really like the cover. Uh, this actually happened in issues, so great concept, her being the cemetery, because she was in the cemetery in this issue. And it was good art and everything. We got the villain in the background. Uh, so I really, sorry. So I really liked the cover for this issue. So let's jump in and see what happened in the issue. So uh, Batgirl is pretty, well, she's getting a gunpoint right now. And Batgirl is pretty much shot, like, gunpoint right where she got shot from the Joker uh, when she got paralyzed. So she's shocked and can't move and someone dies on her watch. And, um, the detective gets a little angry. She kind of goes away. Um, and the mirror runs away also. And they go into a cemetery. And that girl gets hurt uh, pretty badly. So she's, like, pretty much limping home. And her roommate says, oh, what are you hiding? He's like, oh, don't worry about it. You're going to have to tell me one day, though. So, um, and then we see Barbara on a date with her physical therapist. And, um... Seems like that's going on well for them. I guess that's pretty much the, the relationship they're trying to set up for her. And um, we also find out that the mirror was a hero in the beginning. And the reason he's this villain is because he his family died in a car accident and he should have died with them. So that's pretty much how the issue goes on. And um, that was what the whole issue is about. Um, so what did I think about this issue? I thought it was a pretty good issue. Um... I like the villain. Uh, sometimes with villains, new villains like this, they're kind of hard to understand. This this villain has a motive. Uh, he he has a story, and um, we're learning a lot about him. And he seems like a cool villain, even though he has like mirror. His, he's a mirror villain. Like I thought that was kind of cheesy and kind of stupid. But um, he has a good story, and it seems like he could be a good villain, especially in the next issue when we find out, oh, he was a hero. Is Batgirl going to try to maybe redeem him and not really capture him? So we're going to have to see what happens there. And also, uh, there's a lot of stories getting set up here. Uh, Commissioner Gordon in this issue finds out, oh, Batgirl's back in town. Oh, let's go. Like, we're going to find out, does Commissioner Gordon know in the reboot that she's Batgirl, doesn't he? Who knows what's going on there. And I, hopefully he knew. And there's oh Barbara, why are you back girl again? So that's something we're going to have to see in future issues. See if he knows. Um, he She was uh, back girl in the past. We're going to have to see. But he had a strange face on. So I think uh, he knows that Barbara is back girl again. Or maybe there's a new back girl in town. What, I, mean, I don't know what he thinks. But I think he knows that uh, Barbara's back in her costume. That's my guess, but like I said, as issues go on, we're going to have to see that. And then, of course, we're going to see a relationship grow um, in this issue, the physical therapist thing. He's a new character. Um, maybe he'll be a cool character to follow through the issues. I think they're setting up a story for that. I think that should be interesting. And the villain is cool. The roommate is cool. I think uh, her, them maybe becoming close to friends and really this is really setting up for future issues like I, I think a lot of these points are setting up for future issues like I said Commissioner Gordon the friend who knows what's gonna happen there are they gonna become closer friends are they gonna um is she gonna is Barbara gonna have the guts to tell her oh I'm back girl I can't hide that I'm running in and out limping and getting hurt I'm gonna have to tell her um, but I think they're going to have to become closer friends before that. And um, the romance and all that. So a, a lot of stuff are being set up in this issue. Even though we, we have that like story arc going on with this mirror guy. But we have a lot of, I think, sub-stories throughout each story arc we're going to see grow. And I like that. I love that about uh, any series of comic books. I like seeing other stories grow as different stories go on. And uh, pretty much I'm um, excited for a lot of those stories. So, um, 
I thought it was a pretty good issue. The only thing I didn't like, uh, there was this uh, cemetery part, if you remember, me talking about in the beginning of the issue, and she just keeps ra rambling about the cemetery, and it really has nothing to do with the issue. And I was like, all right, whatever. It was like a couple, two pages or something of her narrative being about the cemetery. And I didn't quite understand why she was doing it. I thought maybe she should have been like thinking about a different narrative. I thought the narrative should have been a little bit better there. Um, the art, I really like. Um, I'm liking the Batgirl art, and, um, I think it was a pretty solid issue. Again, just the cemetery part was the part I didn't like, so, um, there's a couple of pages of the art, and I think it's pretty good, and the fighting scenes was pretty good, so I like that. So, um, I give this issue a four and a half just because of the nonsense narrative in that middle part. But everything was pretty solid, uh, just setting up a lot of stories, um, and I think as story issues go on, it will get even better, this series, I've been really liking it, and, um, let's see what happens issue three, it seems like Nightwing's gonna come, and, you know, that's gonna bring some good stories, and, um, this next issue is Nightwing, so I think that's gonna bring some good stuff into, uh, the next issue, and I can't wait to see if it's good or bad. Alright, so this was Comic Uno. I say pick up this issue, especially if you're a Barbara Gordon fan. And if you like Batgirl, I think you should really start reading this series. I, I'm, I've been enjoying it. I don't know if it's better than Stephanie Brown's right now. Um, I really love Stephanie Brown's and a lot of people have. But um, I think this series is getting really good and uh, can't wait. Alright, see you guys. This is Comic Uno.